see, I'm here by myself. Mr. B is flying halfway across the world, well, all the way across the world, quite honestly, right now. So you're stuck with just me here tonight, SJ for Sneak Stream Sunday. And it is all working, and yeah, I've kind of, I don't know how I got it all working, but I have. So welcome. Hope you all have had a good week. The weather has totally dropped here in the UK. It's literally like, it's September, someone's flipped a switch, and it is flipping freezing, like proper freezing. It is almost beanie weather for me. It has been that cold. I've just taken off like my massive hoodie because um, it's slightly warm down here with all the lights on. And I've just noticed, right, sorry guys, I just need to do so. I just need to do so. Well, it's a bit weird. One of the other lights is on, so I've just switched that off. Sorry about that. Well, I hope you are all good. Hope you all had a good week. Um, hi, Tammy for life. Hi, Joe Elliott. Good to see you. Um, hope you all have had a good week as well. So what are we going to do first? Huxley, what are we going to do first? He's sort of sitting in the corner just down there, looking at me like I'm a lunatic, which I normally am. Uh, we are going to have a look at a pair of sneakers that I unboxed this week and a video went live on Tuesday or Thursday, I can't remember, it's been a bit of a weird week this week, but I unboxed the Blazer Para, there we go, take a look at that people, take a look at that, and if you haven't seen the unboxing video, go and have a look, I mean these are nice, they are super nice, lots of little details on them, they're not 100% perfect. They did come from StockX. Um, hi Andy, good to have you. Um, these did come from StockX, and as we know, Mr. B had a few issues with them a few weeks ago with a pair of the SB Jordans that he purchased. You know, it looked like basically somebody had worn these around the house all day, um, in all honesty. <laughs> and there are a few marks at them on them but I am super pleased I've got them. I've still got all the tags on. In my video I did talk about taking them to Germany. I didn't take them to Germany. I haven't even worn them yet but I might wear them this week if the weather holds and it stays quite crisp and dry. So we will see but yeah super pleased I've got them. So if you haven't seen that video as I said go and have a look. They are, there are a few things that are ever so slightly different to the Dunks. Uh, not a great deal but there are a few different bits on them so yeah go and have a look at the video I do bring out Mr B's dunks as well when I'm looking at them in fact my friend who is now back from his adventure he arrived on work on Friday and he said he had his para dunks on and he was in one of the resale sites in Vegas and they were over $500 over there and he was said mine looked really beaten up and I felt really bad standing there <laughs> while they were on sale for like $500 but anyway Anyway, so, hi Horror King, hi Woolly Mammoth, hi Leroy, hi Arnold, um, so yeah, good to have you all in the chat. As I said, Mr. B isn't here, he's flying all the way across the other side of the world for a few days, which is kind of crazy, but yeah, that is it. He was like, oh, maybe I'll stream, and I'm like, you're on a plane, you can't stream, you idiot. Uh, so yeah, so he's not here this week, it is just me. And yeah, those... Um, those, those blazers, they are all the fire room. They really are. So many nice blazers this year. And I'm kind of gutted I haven't got all of the ones I really, really wanted. But, you know, can't buy uh, all the blazers. Uh, Andy, prefer the blazers to the dunks? Interesting. I think, yeah. I mean, the dunks are really nice. They are very much like... The moulders, as Mr. B said, there's, there are so many similarities. But yeah, the, the blazers, there's been some nice blazers this year, some really nice ones. I think blazers are really sort of slept on sneaker, in my opinion, which I don't necessarily mind, you know, more blazers for me <laughs> and all that. Um, <laughs> finally kicked Mr. B out. Uh, yeah, maybe for the week, you know, he's off. <laughs> it's work and all that, it's work. But yeah, I've still got a dog. Huxley's still here. I'm not totally alone. But Mr. B has ha actually had pretty strong rotation on this week. So I thought I'd go with, for it with you. I'll go for a couple of them, actually. Um, he actually wore, for the 
first time, even though we've got these all the way back in, God, it must have been like January, February time now. The Nike SB Dunk High, the Cavalier Dunks from the NBA pack. I've got the Blazers, he got these. And it was raining the day wore these. I can't remember what it was, maybe Thursday. But my word, these look so nice on foot. I don't know why he kept them in the box for so long. I really like these and kind of wish I'd got them now as well. But they are such a nice dunk. And I think these are going to become probably his like standard go-to winter dunk now, I would have thought. Now he's actually got them out. You can see all the cracked on the toe box there. But yeah, super nice. And again, you've got all the different kind of paint underneath. So when these do properly crack and wear, these are going to look super nice, super nice. So yeah, I think that was Thursday, maybe. I don't know, the whole week feels a bit of a blur, to be honest. Leroy, you, you, you have stripped yours. Lots of people have, and like mine are really wearing through, but I'm just letting it wear naturally. I didn't, I didn't want to do it. I actually prefer, even though I've got the, the blazers, I think... The, the dunks actually look nicer when they start to wear because personally I just prefer the colours that are underneath I probably shouldn't say that but yeah that's where I am with it <laughs> but they are super nice um, and another pair this is quite a quite a random sneaker in all honesty and I've totally forgotten about them don't really like them I'm not sure what you guys are going to think but here we go these are a Nike SB, and I think it is the free run, run free, let me have a look, Nike free, the Nike free SB. I can't even remember what year these were from, but they're a bit, I don't know, they're a bit weird, to be honest. Not like Mr. B's normal sort of sneaker, but it is an SB. But yeah, he had these on in the week. I've been lurking for, as I said, a long time. <clears throat> I can't remember the last time we had them out of the box. But what is kind of cool is this little man inside. I'm not sure if you're going to see that. No, you're not going to see it. Maybe? Yes, no. But it's kind of got this really cool little man on a skateboard inside. But yeah, not, not really to my taste. They kind of looked all right on foot though. But, but yeah, actually 2014, that may be about right. That kind of feels about right. I would have said like 2013, but yeah, you may be right. Hi, David, hope you're good. Welcome, welcome everybody. But yeah, not, not to my taste in all honesty. Um, the rest of the week was kind of a bit of fire. So I may have to get, in fact, these, do you know what I'm gonna give these? I'm giving it the duck. Giving it the duck, people. It's getting the duck. Because <laughs> it's just a bit weird. Oh, no. The duck's... Is the duck gone? Please tell me the duck has gone. Um, so I've got weird... Okay. So I'm being told stream quality is automatically low because the internet connection was not fast enough. That is not true. That is not true, people. What is going on? So hopefully the stream is running okay. Now... I'm going to show you one other pair before I flip to the news because I can't actually remember what these are. They are these. Da, da, da. I really like them, but as I said, I can't remember what they are. It's just a really nice grey and pink SV dunk. Um, yeah, I can't remember. I can't even remember, again, what year these were. These may have been about 2015, maybe? I don't know. He hasn't worn them that much. Thanks, Andy. The duck scares me. The duck didn't want to go. Um, but, yeah, it's gone now. But, yeah, I really like these. Cracked toe boxes. Something chronic there. Need some paper stuffed in those. But, yeah, really nice pair of sneakers. Um, again, crisp day, so good to get these out these are almost never really noticed it before but these aren't as padded as most other dunks 
So it's kind of almost like a, um, I can't think of a word. God. No, I can't think of a word. It's Sunday, I'm tired. They're almost kind of remind me of a deconstructed dunk, but they're not. But yeah, nice. I like them. I don't know. I'm not sure these were part of the orange label, Krills. I don't know. Ah, perfect pink or shod wet. You're right, Leroy. You are right. That is what they are. Yes. I like them. So that is most of what Mr. Bean wore this week. I've been wearing and battering those comfy Kush Rand's old schools because my ankle is still screwed. In fact, it is so bad. It's been so bad these past couple of days. I'm going to find a different person to go and see about it because it's been like three months now and it is not good. Not good. But anyway, you don't want to hear about my ankle woes. Um, you want to see the news. And is everybody ready? Oh, that's not the news. Doing it wrong. Is that? Da, 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 da. There we go. Everybody ready for the waffles? I missed the um, offspring thing. I just don't get it. I don't get it, people. It's it's too complicated trying to get sneakers from offspring, unless you're already totally in with them. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Uh, so yeah, I totally missed that. So I've got like a million and one drawers to enter tonight if I want a bag pair, that is. Um, and thanks Arnold for telling me that they are true to size. Sorry I didn't come back to you in the Discord. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try and get a pair. We all know, going to take the massive. Uh -uh. But what are these? What are these? So I'm going to tell you now, I didn't do the news. Mr B did the news as a surprise. Uh, so I'm not going to have a clue what any of these sneakers are. So this is, I know that this is a, a 720. I'm going to have to scroll down. So this is the OBJ Nike Air Max 720 Young King of the People. Apparently it's got a release in the sneakers app. Personally, I don't like this shape. Mr. B does, which is why he's put it there. Um, and Krill's, yeah, you're right. These are very much a summer colorway and material. It feels a bit weird bringing this one out now. I'm not really a fan of it. I don't know, it just, I think it looks really quite cheap. I just, I just don't like all of that plastic. It's just a bit too much for me. And whenever I've spoken to people about it, there's a couple of guys I work with that got them. They said that they're, they're not any, they don't feel any, more comfortable than other Air Maxes, so I, I don't know. I'm just for me, it's a no, I just can't get into this at all. Now, we talked about this last week on the stream <laughs> the um, the the on feet here of the old uh, Hirachi with the self lacing adapts. I, oh, they're kind of spacey actually, they look better on foot than they did in the pitch that we looked at last week where they weren't on foot. Um, I, I'm still not bought into this, you know. I want a bit more tech in there, to be honest. But yeah, I'm not a fan. <laughs> could, could pass off as an Aldo shoe. Is Aldo still a thing? I don't know, I can't say I've, I've seen one of those stores since I've been back from the US. Oh my dear. Uh, are we getting a Supreme Dunks? We will come on to that. Probably be taking the L on it, but you never know. Uh, but yeah, for the money, these are still a pass for me. There's just not, there's not enough tech in the sneaker for me to warrant the price tag, um, in all honesty. Yeah, a DAT seems like a pointless waste of time and money. I kind of agree to a certain, you know, at the moment, I can still bend down and lace up my own shoes. So <laughs> I'm not really sure I need to press the button to do it. And is it really that much quicker? Am I going to save that much time in the morning having a button press do my shoelaces up for me? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not there, people. Just not there <laughs> yet. Now, if, right, I tell you what it would be cool is if I was able to do a hey, or hey, 
the Amazon lady, I'm not going to say her name because everything will start going off. Uh, if I was able to say, can you bring me my Nike SV pair of blazers and then they actually come to me and then they do up, that would be cool. That would be cool. Uh, but that's not happening. Yes, we need a quack. We need to give this. It needs the duck. That's what it needs. It needs the duck. In fact, Huxley, I need you to learn how to get my sneakers. You can get slippers, can't you? I'm going to get my slippers. No. He's in the right grump. He's in a right grump. Right, that duck will not go away. <laughs> uh, right, what have we got next? What have we got next? We have got, talking to the NBA... We've got NBA, uh, Nike A AF1 highs in Lakers and Clippers colorway. I really like these. They look, it's half satin, half leather. You know, they are quite nice. I wouldn't buy them personally, but they are really nice. I'm not, you know, it depends on what team you support, obviously. I just... I don't like it as much in this colourway, in all honesty. Although I'm not a Lakers girl either, you know. New York Knicks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so these are coming out uh, soon because obviously it's NBA season kicking off. I think the some of the people I know actually went to the NBA 2K, as in the game launch party over in LA over the weekend, lucky for them, which kind of looked a bit epic. Uh, so what have we got here? Yeah, that duck overstays its welcome. Next up, it's New Balance. These are New Balance Earthy Made in the UK Scarlet Stone Pack. Um, now I know Mr. B keeps looking at these New Balance. These, I don't know. These are nice. I actually prefer these out of the colorways. I prefer these. These are really nice. I like that rich burgundy on them. These are very much a nice full shoe. I kind of feel that the sort of whitey off-white bit, it almost ruins it for me. I don't know. They're quite nice. I mean, obviously, if these are made in the UK, they're going to have a pretty hefty price tag. They're going to be around the 200, 250-ish mark. Um, but they do look quite nice. I'm not sure I'd want to spend that much money on them, but there you go. That's just me. And here we go. Uh, look at those Supremes that everybody is talking about at the moment. Do you know, I think I said this to a lot of people that have asked me about these, and I may have said this on here <laughs> a few weeks ago. For me, these Supreme Dunks, whilst they're a bit lazy, let's, let's be honest, it's, it's, lazy design the quality of these dunks will make or break them in my opinion i know mr b wants the the metallic silver ones and again if the quality is epic on those they could be a really nice pair of dunks if not they are going to be the duck you know i, I but are we actually going to see them in hand are we actually going to see these dunks in hand probably not but you never know mr b has got some of the other supreme SB um, releases so you never know we may be lucky but I don't know next up is Adidas and these are the skateboarding Liberty Cup plays homage to 90s skate and tennis culture mm, I don't know I'm not, I'm not sure I don't like the shape of these they're just not for me Again, it's very much a summer looking sneaker and it feels like it should have been released like six weeks ago to catch the last bit of summer. Uh, no, these aren't for me. It's just, that's a cool picture though. But yeah, they are not for me in all honesty. But there we go. And we have another Adidas, uh, which are kind of interesting. So these are the Night Jogger which I actually quite like in some colorways. I'm not sure I'd buy it, but I quite like the look of it. And I quite like, 
the video was way better than the sneakers. Yeah, I kind of get that. <laughs> it was kind of a cool video. Um, but these, the colourway in these, I kind of quite like the full. It's kind of quite interesting. What I don't like is the writing around the back, the white mountaineering. Um, I, I don't know, I just don't like that around the back. I get it. I get why it's there. But I'm not a fan of these. <laughs> really? But yeah, just not sure on those. And another Adas. It is, uh, this is, a, I think this is an exclusive for size actually, uh, dipping into the archives. And this is a ZX500. Mm, all right. Be honest, all right. Not, not feeling it. And finally, it's not a sneaker, but it's there purely because we both really like Carhartt stuff. It is the Carhartt Clark's Wallaby collab. Um, I've never been a fan of Wallabies. Never. Um, I bet Mr. B had them when he was a student. <laughs> but yeah. There you go. There you go, people. So that is, that was, that is the news this week. I don't know. Not, it's quite a quiet week. I think everybody's holding out for the, uh, the, the sack eyes, to be honest. And uh, we'll probably all take the L on them. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. So, what else have I got? Oh, my God. The dog is, like, literally like that schooled out um and creoles yeah i agree those car hearts are really lazy they are very much yeah it's a lazy collab which is a real shame because there's been some really nice car heart collabs um yeah if they were a duck material if they were a duck camo material that was used on my utility af1s that would be an interesting shoe and that would have been far more of an interesting collab. But yeah, pretty lazy. Pretty lazy. And let's have a look at what else Mr. B wore this week. Now. Da! He's gone all out pink this week. And he hasn't worn these for ages. And I've forgotten how epic they look on feet. These are from the pink box in what was that 2016 i think it was um uh, just a such an epic sneaker i mean a lot of people are like what the hell are those pink things on your feet but they look so good on they're kind of look how, again look how creased he gets them so creased and when we were wearing when when he was wearing these um on our dog walk in the week like they were like shining like 3m in the light outside it's kind of crazy oh mr b is here in the chat live on the plane hello mr b hello uh so yeah he had these on this week as well like really strong 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 sneaker and you know what these are getting people these are getting the fire boom super nice super nice sneaker and there's an epic fire sneaker down here it's from 2015 it's a collab with a group do you want to have a guess who it may be or what it may be <laughs> mr b is not flying first class not today not today i couldn't afford for him to fly first class on a flight to the other side of the world um it is people it is all the fire boom it is the dunna soul dunk from 2015 i mean these are just so epic so so epic just such a nice sneaker like them so like the materials on these and the suede is just nice what they're the, no they're the de la salle 
Donna Sol. You have me questioning myself there, Chris. I was thinking, no, they're not Wu-Tang. Not the Wu-Tang. They are so nice. And I kind of wish I had these, to be honest. So, so nice. So he had a pretty strong rotation on this week. Like super, super strong. Do the soil. Like, I know your jet lags. <laughs> But yeah, super, super nice. Super, super nice. And we finally got round to unboxing these yesterday. The Jordan 1 Union, which are really nice. Um, they're not perfect. Again, not having much luck on the quality. I'm hopefully going to try and get the video edited for these this week. It may not go out this week though, just because I'm I'm here by myself, so I may not have time to do all the editing. But yeah, we unboxed these yesterday. Just a really nice colorway. I am gutted. I took the L on these because because the colorway, you know, you see it in some of the pictures and you're like, yeah, it looks really nice, but you have to see it in hand. They are just so so nice. So yeah, that is what we've got coming. I don't think we've bought anything else. It's been a bit quiet on the old sneaker front. Um, yeah, no, nothing else. Nothing else at all. So we're going to flip. That was the news. We're going to do uh, Instagram. And let's try and work out what I'm doing. I can remember what I'm doing. Instagram. There we go. And here we are. Mark, what's his name up in Scotland? <laughs> Funny. So, what have we got here? So, we've got uh, Levi with some. I can't remember if these are blazers. Or, yeah, these are blazers. The, the teal and the yellow okra. Both from the same pack last year, but wearing them on different feet. I kind of quite like this because it works. The colours just work like super nice. Uh, so yeah, I like these. I like these a lot. I don't know. I didn't buy either. Don't know why. But yeah, super super nice blazers. I quite like that mixing it up. And I've just realised I'm on the wrong camera. No. What else have we got? So. Friday the 13th of September, which is next Friday, is the Offspring Community event at uh, House of Vans down near Waterloo. I, um, I don't know where to go, I don't think. No, I won't be able to go. Unless I can sneak out of work early. Um, but yeah, I'd quite like to go to this if I can. Highly unlikely. Unless I have a meeting down in Waterloo. Sorry, work. You didn't hear that. <laughs> but we've got here a uh, sneaker collective in a pair of Etnies. Mr. B loves his Etnies. Um, these are really nice. Just, you know, classic plain black, white. Uh, not, a lot, not a lot else to say, really. I can't remember the last time Mr. B bought a pair of Etnies, actually. It's probably like. 2013 maybe maybe there we have these fear of god and star kid underscore sc you know what out of all of those fear for god um these are my favorites they they're actually really nice and we didn't we didn't even bother to go in for them but they are really really nice um, but yeah, there you go. And are you going to go down to that offspring event? Just asking. <laughs> I, I honestly probably can't go. But we will see. We will see. And also, number one, a star kid. Uh, these uh, Converse, which are really, really nice. I haven't worn or bought a pair of these in a very long time and I, again I 
do like Converse and sort of burgundy, so I may have to dig a pair out for, for winter. But yeah, nice. I like the clash with the purple socks as well. And Nike knows best with the Levi's Air Max. These are really nice. And again, obviously, these just went from the app. The same with the um, the cactus blazers. They were just there and then just gone like that. Just had no chance to get them at all. But these look really nice. And I know I was a bit like meh with the Levi's ones, but yeah, really like these. Then we got Dan Batch with the diamond, Tiffany diamond, uh, Dunk High, which, you know, Mr. B is always lusting after these, it's Dunk High, super nice, really nice sneaker, you know, just epic really. Nothing else to say. You know what I haven't done? What haven't I done? I've got to give it the old fire boom. Just because, just because. Then there is, I don't even know how to say that. Scony, I don't know, Scony 2B, Scony 8, Scony Native. It is the Safari uh, Air Max, which I do like. I do like them. I am going to give it the fire boom because they do, they are epic. I just, as I said, for whatever reason, I'm just a bit meh on the Air Max at the moment. I don't know why. Maybe I wore mine a bit too much last season. I don't know. But yeah, super nice sneaker though. Really nice. Then we've got Chuso with these... SBs and I don't actually know what these are from 2007 from the blue box era it says there but yeah really epic uh, SB I do not remember these in fact I found a picture of a pair of Mr B's old um, passports the other day when I was looking for a picture of something else from like 2011 which was so epic what else we got? Uh, yep, those blazers that we looked at. Then we got sneak takeover with the Jordan Low in shattered backboard. These are super clean and bright. I mean, look at them. You know, it's growing on me and the sneaker, the, the Jordan Low. It's just not for me, I don't think. Um, but yeah, really nice. Hey, Strix, hope you're well. But yeah. They are pretty epic. And finally, because Mr. B liked the composition of this picture, this is really cool. And I love that R2-D2 in the garden. That's pretty epic. Um, these are the, well, they're Jordan 1s. They're not, they're not really, are they these? I don't know, my eyes are all wrong. I don't know, but yeah, they are pretty epic. Ooh. Pretty epic. We're giving that all, the old fire boom as well. There you go. There you go. And let's take this back and our main camera so quite a funny old week i think as i said it's been pretty quiet on the old news front um unless i've totally missed stuff and i don't think i have this week uh with what's coming out so they are the obsidians right sorry they were the obsidians they just don't look like it in that picture or are we talking about the i don't know i'm not with it either I think I've got sympathy, sympathy jet lag for Mr. B, I think. <laughs> that is all I can uh, suggest it is. I've got sympathy jet lag as well, because he has been now been travelling for like nearly 24 hours, which is ridiculous, people. Absolutely ridiculous. And that is kind of it for this week. Quite a short one. Paxley, do you want to make an appearance? No? 
No, he's not even gonna say anything. Hi, Gerald. Maxie, do you wanna come here? Maxie, come. Come here. Come here. No, he's not gonna come up. He's just like looking. Come here. You good boy. You a good boy. But yeah, you have, haven't come here to look at the dog. Um, although he is quite nice to look at, aren't you? Yeah, you are. There you go. That's his tail banging. If you heard that. Um, but yeah, that is kind of it for this week. I don't really know what else to say without the sidekick. Hi. <laughs> um but yeah so good luck everybody if you're going in for the waffles this week i am fully prepared to take the l i will not be buying them on resale if i do i just can't be bothered with it too much hassle um and yeah have a good week everyone can't believe it's like nearly what is it the 8th of september we are already one week in September. I don't like it. Do not like it at all, people. It is getting cold and I do not like it. Um, when does the auction start for Mr. Reed's collection? If I did that, I think he would probably divorce me from Sydney. So I will not start an auction on the collection at all. Um, but yeah. So I'm just going to say, because... It is Sunday here in the UK, which means it's Peaky Blinders <laughs> in about half an hour. So I'm going to go get a coffee and watch Peaky Blinders with the dog Ow, and a blanket. But yes, good luck everybody on the waffles. Good luck people. And just so you know, if you have ordered stickers, they are on the way. We did have a slight issue with the first lot that we sent out. So we sent a second lot, just so that you're aware. So there are stickers on the way. Uh, but yes, in for the waffles, sneak on S sneakers and stuff and sneakers out. Are there any other drawers open anywhere else? There's a few others that I've seen. So yeah, yeah, need to get those waffles, but we will see. Huxley, are you gonna come and say hello? No, come here, come here. Come here. No, he's not having any of it. I think that one time he jumped up on the table was the one and only time he's ever going to do it. So that was a very special moment. Right, guys, have a good week all. As I said, good luck, everybody. Let us know if you get the waffles. Fingers crossed all. Have a good week. Thank you for joining me as I'm here by myself. It's good fun to have everybody in the chat, as always, and I will see you next week. Actually... I don't think I will see you next week because I'm going to be away, but Mr. B will be back. Uh, so, yeah, I will see you in probably two weeks' time. I run out, guys. Have a good one. Bye.